Who's the chick of magua? Who's the chick of magua? Hey, stop what you're doing right now. Research the chick of magua, my naga. We ain't talked about the chick of magua enough. But we can't talk priest kings without talking chick of magua. These are the Cherokee, right? They call them the Cherokee, right? I mean, I'm just over here doing some recon. Right? The Chickamauga Cherokee, right? Now it says the Chickamauga Cherokee were a group that separated from the greater body of the Cherokee tribes during the American Revolutionary War. My nugget, we popping off, right? Right? Fourth of July, right? Now we got 24 7, 12 months of fireworks, my nugget. And I'm from the turf, like you from the turf, and man, we ain't got no fireworks 12 months out the year. Suddenly we got 24, 7, 12 months a year fireworks, my nigga. This shit crazy, but look, man, we popping off for the 4th of July, right? 1776, so pay attention, my nigga, in the back of the class with the headphones on. You, my nigga, pay attention, my nigga, because we popping off for you. This is for you. This is so we can document the journey. Who's the chicken mug? Read it. The Chickamauga Cherokee were a group that separated from the greater body of the Cherokee tribes during the American Revolutionary War. The majority of the Cherokee people wished to make peace with the American colony near the end of 1776, 4th of July, July, right? Following several military setbacks and the reprisals that followed the Chickamauga, followers of Headman Dragon Canoe moved with him down the Tennessee River. Who? Dragon Canoe or are we talking Dragon Canoe, my naga? Canoe, man. Shout out to Dragon Canoe, man. You know what I'm saying? Tell us, tell us everything. Hey, so what we're seeing right here is that there's a line in the sand, man. And we can all be buddy buddy, man, and, and get this stuff done together. We can all drive up together, man. We can all do it for the real ones, man. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta understand when you talk about indigenous, when you pop off and you say, hey, drop, you know what I'm saying? I'm indigenous, drop. I got I got my tribe, my tribe is this, my tribe is is Choctaw, my tribe is uh uh Chickasaw, my tribe is Shawnee. Hey look, that's that's all cool. You you, you blackfoot. That's all cool, but check this out, my naga. What side of the war were you on when this was going down? See, not all is one thing to wake up and say, I'm the Indian in America. That's a big step. Congratulations. But we all got to come to, you know, accountability. You know what I'm saying? We claiming all these tribes. What side of the war was you on with Dragon Canoe? When I talk to Coombsay, when I talk, yeah, man, I know it's a sensitive topic. When I talk to Coombsay, y'all know who know that we know. You know what I'm saying? So we're talking about the last stand of, you know what I'm saying, what they say, what they call Israel. But really, we're just talking about the seeds of the creator, right? We're talking about the, the flow, you know what I mean? The flow that connects all the way back to the beginning of the flow, you know what I mean? To the lands beyond the poles, my nugget. Right, so that's all we're talking about. We talked to Coom say we're talking about the last stand of the Negro, the Naga, the real Nagas that wanted the invaders off the land. You gotta research, my Naga. You, you gotta research the Tacum say war, man. Tacum say war, man. And there's a big comment around it. So all this stuff that's happening today is very relevant because the dragons is always present. But just go into the 1828 Webster Dictionary put in dragon, you know what I'm saying, you're going to get meteor, <laughs> put in meteor, you're going to get any atmospheric phenomena, put in prester, you're going to get meteor, I'll let you connect all those, you know, jewels right there, man, left to drop nation, left to the eat the squad, Tacum says war is a big deal, all right, 1811, 1812, this was your last stand for those that really want to be hijacked free. Now, not everybody was down with Tecum, say. There were Nagas on different sides. You got Powhatan, right? You got different tribes on different sides. So, Powhatan wanted to make more deals. A lot of tribes was rocking with Powhatan. As you wake up today, you know, you do your recon and your family lineage. Ask them about Powhatan. Ask them about Tecum, say. The shooting star. They say his name means shooting star. We're talking dragons on the wall. And then from that point, I mean, love to the family, man, that hit me up. 
I had a bro hit me up. He said, hey, my tribe was one of those tribes that should have been there for Tecumseh. They should have been by his side, but we weren't. Now, whatever reason you got, you got. But that's accountability. Now we can tribe up. Now we can vibe up. You know what I'm saying? But we, we represent the Chicken Magua. You know what I'm saying? We represent who? The Chicken Magua Cherokee. The Chicken Magua Cher Cherokee were the group that separated from the greater body of Cherokee tribes during the American Revolutionary War. The majority of these Cherokee wanted to make treaties, my nigga. Peace with the Americans near the 1776, the end of 1776, following several military setbacks and reprisals the f that followed the Chickamauga followers of Headman Dragon Canoe moved with him down the Tennessee River away from their historic Overhill Cherokee towns in the winter of 1776. Relocated in the more isolated area, they established 11 new towns in order to gain distance from the colonists' encroachments. They tried to get as far away they tried to get as far away from the hijack as possible. They called him Chickamauga after this river named Chickamauga, which meant the river of death. So they were named after the river of death, my nigga. And these were the Cherokee that broke off from the other Cherokee that wanted to make treaties, make deals. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, we all are in this position today and we're waking up and no one can, you know, point the finger at nothing. You know what I'm saying? All we can do is be accountable. So all I'm saying is we waking up together. Remember, man, this colony, this corporation we talking about, America, has been at war. How much? 93% of the time, man. Hit me up for these links, man. If you need these links, hit me up. Music at 432thedrop.com. America, this is from Global Research, globalresearch.ca. America has been at war 93% of the time, right? But who has America been at war with? 222 out of 239 years since 11 or 1776. The U.S. has been at peace for 21 years. But have they ever really been at peace? Right? What's the peace? Their peace ain't your peace. Your peace ain't their peace. So their peace is war. Your peace is war on them because you're waking up out they spell. Now who was the war against, man? This is a great... A great drop, a great link. We've been kicking it for years. Just look at the timeline. 1776, right? Who's the war against? The Chickamauga. 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 I mean, on and on we go. Penamite. This is the war they're calling it, but it's the Chickamauga War. It's the Dragon Canoe War. And he was right before Tecumseh by about one generation, they say. So this is all the same side of the flow. This is the last Israelite stand, my naga. Look at all this Chickamauga War going down. America didn't go to war with nobody else. This quasi Barbary War, all this is the Indian Wars, my naga. Check this out right here. What do you see? Tecumseh's War, 1811. This is a Hebrew man who was fighting and trying to unite the tribes against this invasion, this Deuteronomy 28 popping off. This is happening right here in America. This is your last stand, the Seminoles. Tecumseh rocking side by side. So when you get back in your tribal flow, you say, okay, well, what side, you know, it was my tribe on. What side was the Choctaw on? What side was... And, of course, you got different branches of different things. What side was the Creek song? What side was the Seminole on? You know what I mean? Just come correct because this was your last stand. If you weren't by Tecumseh's side during the Tecumseh War, even in 1813, my nag, if you weren't by Tecumseh's side, hey, man, you got to, uh, you know what I'm saying, come correct because you should have been there. Every naga should have been there because we see today what we was fighting for. Seminole War, Seminole War, Seminole War. Look, man, we don't go to war against any other country, right? We're still talking Cherokee, Cherokee, Cherokee. We don't go to war against nobody else until when? Texas, Mexican, Texas Indian, Texas Indian, Seminole, Seminole. My naga, we don't go to war against no... <laughs> they don't go to war against nobody else. We're still talking Indians, 1891. 
Philippine American War, Banana Wars are still indigenous Nagas in the Philippines. We already know that. Come on, man. Banana Wars is all Indian wars, man. World War One. Here we go. And that's still about throwing bombs on dragons, right? Throwing bombs on indigenous populations, man. So officially, Korean War is really like <laughs> the 40s. This is when we start talking about international war, Vietnam, and all this stuff like that. Before this, this 40s situation, 1940s, my nigga, all these wars were right here at home. All these wars were against you, and it all started with who did it start with for the first 20 years? 19, 20 years, add them up. Chickamauga, 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 Chickamauga. Who are the Chickamauga? These are the groups that separated because the other Cherokees wanted to make peace. The Frontier Americans associated Dragon Canoe with his band and his band with, with their new town of Chickamauga Creek because it referred to them as the Chickamauguas. Five years later, the Chickamauguas further moved further west and southwest into the present day Alabama. X marks the spot, Khan. We're just talking what? Alabama, my naga. <laughs> What's the Alabama flag looking like? X marks the spot. We were just talking about that Andrews drop. Red crest. Red thread. Pay attention, my naga. X marks the spot. Right? Ka, ka, ka. Alabama, right? It's the same Hebrew tau. This is the last letter of the Hebrew a left bet. We're just talking to Chickamauga Cherokee. The first 20 years was against the Chickamauga, those that didn't want to make the deals, my noggin. These this is Israel's last stand. You want to say it like that. This is the last stand for the Israelite right here at home where they found you at. This is uh, Columbus's Golden World, Lost Tribe and Promised Land. I'll get this piece for the dismount where we at. Let's go. Now it says, This high sea was most necessary for me, Columbus wrote in his journal, September 23rd, 1492. So just put this all in perspective. Now we're talking about 1492. And it says, One of the purposes of the voyage of Columbus, as we have seen, was to find the great Khan. <laughs> so one of the purposes for Columbus finding you was to look for the who? The great Khan. And Torres was to be the what? Mouthpiece. So we had a Hebrew interpreter, presumably on the basis of his Hebrew. Perhaps Columbus and his supporters had decided that the great Khan reported on by Marco Polo and others might be the Israelite king who dwelt across the river from Prester John. So Preston John is the king of Judah, King David, and then you had the king of the other tribes, right? Two tribes, north, north and south, Khan. And Preston John said, nah, but I'm the Khan. Atlantic Monthly Journal, Volume 104. It's looking like, you know, Columbus is still looking for the Khan, they say. In Cathay. Let's get it from here. A week before he lands in Guanahani, Columbus opinions that the Pazan suggestion to steer southwest is not made with respect to Capango. Two days after the discovery, he feels he must go on and try to find Capango. And when he reaches Cuba, he believes it to be from the signs the Indians make to be this very land. Capango, Cuba, Japan, Managa, the Catholic kings. He wants to deliver the, cap the letters of the Catholic kings to the Grand Khan. <laughs> With the said Grand Khan, he gathers, let's go, that the natives, a Cuban monarch, was now at war with the Khan's great ships, he understands, came to Cuba, who they say is 10 days from Cathay, the grand city of Cathay, my naga. Hey, man, we just surfing away. We talking Cathay, Khan. And if we talking Cathay, my naga, we must be talking about America, Cathay, yo. India, Superior, Florida, China, Mexico, South America, Cathay, my naga. We already home, man. I've been trying to tell y'all we already home, man. 
and they being at war against the Naga, and the Naga's just now popping off. Allahu Akbar.